problem. Uh, you okay. just finished your uh, customer's uh, uh, day after tomorrow yes. session for Hedna. Uh, how was that? It was fun. Uh, customer's day after tomorrow is a story that I think is very relevant for the travel industry. It's about how customer experience is changing in a world of artificial intelligence. A uh, key message basically that I gave was don't focus on technology, don't use technology as a guiding star, but use customer benefits as a guiding star and um, how to translate that into the travel industry. That was, uh, that was the story. Right, right. Obviously AI plays a part in that. How, how, how would you see uh, AI really influencing that moving forward in the next, say, five years? Well, I think artificial intelligence in, in, the, in the far end will take the decisions of how people take uh, decisions of, of booking hotels. I think it, we will move into a world of algorithm-based buying uh, today I go to booking.com and I make my selection or I go to Google and I go to the website of hotels. I think pretty soon I will say, hey Google or hey Amazon, uh, check my calendar and make the necessary bookings. Because the truth is in most of the time, most of the time I don't care in which hotel I'm staying. I just want to have a good place, a decent place. Right. And I don't want to invest time in that. Right. So I may outsource that to algorithms. Yeah, exactly. Um, if there were three key takeaways that you'd want your audience to take from today's session, unfortunately I missed it, so I apologize. <laughs> what would those three takeaways be? Well, I think one of the first things to start with is to discover your customer frustrations that you know of. I think most businesses and most people know what is frustrating their customers. List those and remove them one by one. That, that's like the mindset that you need because then you're saving out time of your customers and that's what they want. Second thing is dare to dream about what could be the best possible customer experience. Dare to speak that out and then reverse engineer it back to today and start piloting with that. And I think the third one is look at your assets that you have that big technology companies do not have. Uh, maybe humans, maybe you know, the physical locations, the assets that you have and figure out how you can use them in a smart way that they add value to customers in this digital world. Fantastic. Stephen, thanks very much. It was my pleasure. Nice